Welcome back to D-Lab everybody. This is a follow-up on my newest ECB-AT driver board for Class A amplifiers. This one has tremolo integrated. After some of you saw the last video, you wrote to me and said, hey, love the idea, but can you run a high power Class A amplifier with that board? And the answer is yes. The ECBA boards are simply the driver. They have the preamp section and the tremolo. They'll drive any output tube that you select. The power output is dependent on the transformer and the output transformer that you use for your build. In this case, I have built a 6L6 amp running 450 volts plate to show you how easy it is to use my boards on these higher power Class A applications. So as always, when I'm getting ready to build these prototype amps to demonstrate, I make sure that they will fit into a cabinet when I'm done so I can sell it. In this case, it's in this beautiful refinished wood cabinet. Control lineup is speed, intensity, tone, and volume. Spin this guy around. See how nicely the chassis fits inside of the cabinet. All right, let me pull this out and I'll show you how it's built. All right, before I remove the chassis, I want to show you the speaker select system. So back here is an RCA jack and that feeds the internal eight inch speaker. And that is this position of the switch. When you move to these other three positions, that puts the taps of the output transformer to the external speaker. So you got 16, eight, four ohms and then you go back to the internal speaker so if you want to run an external speaker as soon as you move the switch the internal one disconnects so let's start top side my tube line up we have a 5u4 rectifier 12ax7 preamp 6av6 is the tremolo oscillator and then we have a 6l6gc for the output tube the power transformer is a vintage chicago standard 8409. This is equivalent to a Hammond 273DZ. Okay. If you look in front of the power transformer, I have a dual 32 microfarad capacitor at 500 volts. You can buy these through AmplifyParts.com. The output transformer is OT10SE. These are sold by Musical Mat on eBay. They're about $30. Well, as I stated, this amp runs at 450 volts plate. So I had to use a 5U4 to keep that voltage at 450 or less. Since my filter cap is only rated at 500 volts, I did not dare solid state rectify this amp. As I stated before, this rotary switch is a speaker select. We have the internal position, 4, 8, and 16 ohms. All right, let's take a look underside. All right, so the heart of the amp is the D-Lab ECB-AT board. This is the preamp driver with tremolo. But in this case, I had to use a hand-wired power supply. My little cub circuit board cannot handle 500 volt capacitors. And that's why you see the standalone cap here, which is the dual 32 I told you about. And then tucked up here is a little 22 microfarad cap for the preamp filtering. I did have to change the value of the screen resistor for the 6L6 and the preamp resistor that feeds the board due to the increase in high voltage. I also had to chassis mount the bias resistor. In this case, this is a 1K 15 watt resistor that goes to the cathode of the 6L6. As usual, all the busy work is handled by the ECBAT board, you simply connect jumpers to the tube sockets and the control pots. So I'll get in closer so you can see the layout, how things are wired. You can see the use of this board really simplifies construction. You can build this amp in about four to five hours. Whereas if you had to hardwire it, it'd be double that amount of time. Here's a demonstration of the amplifier. First, we'll start with a built-in Celestion speaker. Then, I'm going to flip the rear switch to the external speaker. 
When I do that, the scope trace is going to stop responding because it is monitoring the internal speaker only. Here we go. Now we'll switch to the external speaker. Here's a little more speed. Back to the internal. All right, there it is, the D-Lab ECB AT board running a 6L6 tube, high power class A. Remember guys, my boards are nothing more than the preamp and a tremolo oscillator. The output tube is universal. You can pick what you want, you just have to reconfigure the base and the biasing for your application. I plan to put some more videos out showing different tubes running off of this board. Also, I have recently put the ECB AT boards on my website so you can see my pricing for bare or populated, but you still need to contact me because I build these to order. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm really enjoying this new project.